So time to detail the hull. Um, put some ladder and the sign on the starboard side and same thing on the port side. So uh, then I will be adding more of the ladders for the directs and so on on both sides and then fixing the um, anchor at the stern. So this is pointing in the wrong direction so I need to add the template to outline where the, the anchor goes and carving in a new uh, notch for the anchor. So then the jig has been uh, taped to the stern, uh, made a notch and now drilling out the holes for the ladders with a 0.3 mil drill so one needs to be really careful so the drill doesn't break and um, then try to make as the same amount of turns so it's not a big difference on each of the holes so that's the 0.5 millimeter uh, holes for the screw guard pins needs to be drilled. Same approach. So then it's the parts for the anchor on the stern. Usually you would need to anneal this because it's a slight curve, but I think this is so thin that it doesn't need, it will adhere to the, um, to the curve without any big issues. So then we will be adding the plate around the stern anchor and the nameplate. The nameplate is really nice. It, um, they have etched the name into this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show this. It's just amazing how detailed that one can be. And um, this plating needs to curve a bit, but the, um, the part is so thin, I don't think it's any problem that you, that you need to anneal it or anything like that to make it adhere to the curves, which would otherwise be required for uh, parts that go around curves so let's hope this won't stick to the template or that I have now glued the template in place so that was that part I might be needing to add some then CA afterwards. Mm 
tiny amount of glue. And dropping it into the template position. There we go. So let's remove the template. So then the plating or the stone anchor is in place and the name plating and I just need to clean up the mess after the drilling then I usually just start with the tape to pull out the parts the debris okay so then it's adding the, the ladders um, Using my tweezer, putting them into the tweezer, so tiny, it's very difficult to see. Dipping the end points into some glue, and then putting it into the small holes that we have been drilling. And I must say it came as a surprise to me that this ladder goes over a portal. Um, I don't think it's supposed to do so, but um, this is where it ended up using the template and positioning that um, I could see from the Pontus manual. Um, a bit too late to do anything about it right now. And from the pictures, it looks like it actually is correct. Uh, unless the pictures from Pontos, that is. If it's prototypically correct, I'm not sure. But that's how it goes. So then I've added the screw guard pins. I'm going to add this um, uh, outer part for the anchor. Should be more than enough. I'm hopefully getting this placed. Before it sticks, pressing it in place. And it conforms pretty well. Yes. Then I have added all the derricks, the ladders, and it's really just repeating all the uh, steps that I've shown already. I also added the anchors, um, front, aft, same here, and um, then on the aft side as well. I'm not added the um, the swastika, the emblem that's going on the back side because I want to paint this first and then add uh, the eagle, uh, which I will keep in brass before. Uh, yeah, so not, not treating it with anything. So I think this will conclude uh, part uh, four. I will, um, of course, paint these parts now in uh, the whole uh, gray 
before I will continue working on the decking and superstructure parts, which will be covered in their own um, build logs. Okay, so thank you. I hope uh, it gave you at least some input to my build. Like and subscribe if you would like more. Thank you.